If you're using PubSub and want to learn some client library best practices, then stay tuned. Hi, I'm Chloe, and in this video, I'll be sharing six useful features to consider using when working with PubSub. Let's take a look. Number one, client library language. When using PubSub, take into consideration the client library language you will choose. We recommend using the Java client library over Python for performance reasons. Check out the link in the description to dive deeper into our blog post on testing cloud PubSub clients to maximize streaming performance to see some useful graphs and data comparing cloud PubSub performance by language. Number two, reuse publisher. Reuse the same publisher client instead of recreating new publisher clients to avoid cold start problems. The first publish request takes longer than subsequent requests. Number three, flow control. Consider setting flow control on the publisher if your publish requests are timing out often. With high latency subscribers, you may need to decrease their flow control settings to process fewer messages at any given time. Number four, always update. Be sure to stay up to date with client library versions. Newer client library versions may contain fixes for critical issues or are likely required to use some new features. Check out our documentation for all the latest info on PubSub's updates and features. Number five, use Node Async. In Node.js, all operations should be async, so the recommended mode of operation is to use subscription.on to receive messages and topic.publish message or topic.flowcontrolled if publisher side flow control is desired. Since many methods in Node.js allow for callbacks or promise slash async based usage, prefer the latter. This will help performance. Number six, lease management. Looking to modify or extend your message acknowledgement deadlines? You can use Modax to modify and extend message acknowledgement deadlines. We recommend streaming pull over pull in the libraries as libraries manage Modax. There you have it, six useful features to consider using working with PubSub. Take a look at our PubSub documentation for even more tips and tricks. And check the description below for links to additional information, as well as step-by-step -step guides on the tools discussed in this video.